So the next treat is Magic Altman. Magic's one of my dear friends, but she's also an amazing activist. And she lives part-time in Sonoma County and part-time in San Francisco. And she does a lot of work in San Francisco to stop police violence and to kind of watch the police and make sure they're not doing more stupid things than they should be. So she's got some amazing poetry. She writes about all kinds of things and is a multi-talented woman. But I give you Magic Altman. Oh, hi, everyone. We've got ourselves in a kind of a fine mess on planet Earth right now. But I think we need to go back to, down to the very systemic problem, which I believe is the uh, instinct that we have for survival, which is based on fright, flight, fight. That which kept us alive is now killing us. The evolutionary leap we need to make is to recognize that all life is interdependent and that diversity is actually what feeds and evolves and helps life thrive. Back in the 90s, the goddess culture burst out in Sonoma County. We had five years of goddess festivals with 500 women and we remembered the power of the divine feminine to circle around, not a matriarchy, but a matrifocal culture. Circling around as all other species do on the planet to protect mother and child. You know, uh, there's an interesting quote from LBJ which says, if you can convince the lowest white man he's better than the best black man, he won't notice you're picking his pocket. Hell, give him somebody to look down on and he'll empty his pockets for you. So this is what's happening. We are being divided through s s talking about a war between the sexes, a war between the races. There is no war there. This is what they are doing to manipulate us because these poor, lonely, desperate souls think that the only way to feel good about themselves is to possess more, more power, more money, more property. But in fact, there is never gratitude in that because it leaves them empty. That's why they never stop. We cannot see this as power. We cannot let anyone bring us so low as to hate them. We want to vote on Tuesday for the victory of life. We do not want to vote against particular people. We need to take down the patriarchy. That isn't men, that's a system. It's patriarchy and it has to fall. You know, for about a decade, nobody talked about patriarchy. Now everyone's talking about it. Even newscasters are recognizing it again. It's a systemic problem. So, um, this is really, it's really a cult. It's like a cult. If you leave it, if you're part of capitalism and patriarchy, you feel if you leave it, you'll die or get in jail or be imprisoned. But this is not true. The biggest lie of patriarchy and, and capitalism is that we own the earth. That is slavery. We must end all slavery and be reconnected to all species. So when you go to vote on Tuesday, take an animal with you in your heart, take a tree with you, a river, and take an ancestor too. Put some herbs in your shoes. Walk in there with your power to connect to all life. We have to make the evolutionary leap to not be allowed to be in our hearts hating any person. We can be furious at what's happening, but we cannot let ourselves hate. So, uh, you know, even, I find it interesting that even colors have been divided. Now we, you know, hate red and love blue. You know, actually blue is the color of the ocean 
And red is the color of blood that is inside a woman's womb that is a microcosm of the ocean. And if you put blue and, and red together, you get purple, the color and vibration of the highest level of consciousness. So I said back in the 90s, I vowed to see the fall of patriarchy in my lifetime. And not for one second have I let go of that vow. I will see it. You will see it. Yeah. Now, I would like to share with you a poem about the power of blood. The power of woman to rise and lead us out of this crisis because another world is possible. Oh. It's my time of the month. Deep emotions spill out with the blood. I cannot catch it. Didn't mean to make a mess. Didn't expect to say all this. But life is raw in its beginning. Subtlety is not yet spinning. I cannot tell you why I feel only that I know it's real. So many veils have hidden me, woven of fear and stupidity. My eyelids fall from ingrained shame. Don't you want to know my name? Kali dances black and torrid, while the truth, it is all too horrid. Women burn on their husband's pyre. It is safer to be a proper liar. Pain stays hidden behind the eyes, while proper ladies tell comforting lies. Yet I fail to see the purpose of feelings cap below the surface. Arab women hide their faces, Jewish women hold their places, American women act like men. Can't we be ourselves again? Hindu woman bought and sold, Asian woman never bold. Latinas become imitation Marys, the black woman takes all the weight she can carry. What is this burden called womanhood? I hate to do what I should. The gift of life is not a sin. What is this battle men must win? What is this fear that makes us mean, that makes us think that blood's unclean? Do you think, man, you'll lose your role if we women achieve our goal? As the modern world pulls us together, we all must try to learn to weather all this close-knit alienation and find in ourselves a new revelation. That men and women are not at war. You're not the bastard. I'm not the whore. We could give each other so much more if we would open understanding's door. The mysteries I have to speak, they cannot come from the passive and weak. We must know that feelings are strong. Feelings give harmony to life's song. It's my time of the month, I must confess. Should that be my excuse for saying all this? As the waves come over me, the oracle opens my mystery. I cannot help but say what I see. We must rescue our humanity to be horrified again at death, to stop whispering under our breath, to stop averting our guilty eyes when hunger is caused by greedy lies. We must handle this fear of each other's power to let all humanity begin to flower. It's my time of the month, my time of the year, my time of the age. Time's up, dear. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today.